boom, finally, finally live. I know everybody's probably over there on the other one. Let me see if I can get everybody over here. You got to thank this equipment. I turn off a lot of this stuff now. I don't need it. That's what happens when you leave me alone. This went live on my channel because you, YouTube schedule. All right, here we go. Now I got people coming over. Stupid YouTube. I hate when they do that, man. It just, I don't know why they make it so hard. You got to be an eight year old buried in your parents' basement playing games <laughs> to learn how to do this. What's up, everybody? Looking at all the comments. What's up, Brad Boswell? I knew it. I, this is this is how I should have done it long ago. But I kind of wanted to give you guys a heads up and let you know what we was going to be doing, where we was going to be. You know, nothing, nothing big. Just me talking to you guys. This, you know, letting you know what's going on. My phone's blowing up. Everybody's calling me, going, eh, it's, "It's not live." <laughs> and I appreciate everybody looking out for me. Jordan, what's up? Mugs, Todd, Chris, Charlie, Harley. What's cooking? KC in the house. What's up, Chris? How you doing? Joe Madrado. Two-tone smoke. What's up, man? How's everybody doing today? Like my fancy glasses? My reading glasses. I ain't figured out how to make that text bigger. Funny story. Um, I had, I could see up close, perfect my whole life. And, and then I got my eyes fixed about a year ago and, uh, and, and then almost overnight I lost my up close vision. So now I got to wear these. That's okay though. What's up barbecue boss, Mark Johnson in the house. Dave, what's up McLean? Yeah, yeah, hardly it does. What do you do, though, man? What do you do? Now, man, I just wanted to come on here today and just talk to you guys, uh, you know, kind of share with you, like, what's on my mind, what I'm thinking, uh, where we're at, where we're going, what I need you to do. If you want to do it, I highly recommend it, but completely up to you. So, OPEX sauce is the shoe. Yes, it is, Matt. It is good. I think that's probably the best barbecue sauce competition grade out of the bottle ever made, in my opinion. I think. Get your grill on. What's up? Ken. There old David Myers, Travis Patterson, Off the Walls, BBQ. SPG is fire. You dang straight it is. What sauce? I missed it. Harley, come on, man. You got to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't miss a thing, bro. Uh, use your brisket injection. is the best brisket I've ever eaten and tasted. Buddy, congratulations, man. Good for you. I've been telling people that for years. Got a PBC because of Cosmos. Yeah, man, I love them. Brisket, brisket practice is happening soon. Come on, Timmy. Let's see it. So what are you guys cooking today, man? Is that, Let me ask you, how does everything look? Everything look good? Do you like it? You guys like the set? All the stuff? Does it sound good? Smash that one button. Smash that one button if it sounds good. I got to I gotta give it up to my boy, Logan. He, uh, he made all this possible. 
It's unbelievable how he makes me look pretty, but he does. He does a fine job. Uh, we need wing dust and bigger packages. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, I'm on a computer here just so you guys know. I'll scoot it this way so I don't look creepy sitting on the ground. But no, I just wanted to come to you guys and uh, uh, I, actually, I just wanted to come to you guys and level with you. Um, one of the things that I always uh, like to say that I am is real and honest. And um, one of the things probably in barbecue I learned a long time ago is th that's fine and all when you're at a barbecue competition or when you're out. But when you're on uh, when you're on social media, or everything you got to you got to put that, you know, you got to put that presence out there, you know, that you're I don't know something better than you are or nothing bad happens to you. And that's just not the case. A lot of you guys know me. A lot of you guys come into the store. A lot of you guys met me out on the uh, competition circuit, uh, seen me in the airports, you know, and we talk. Matter of fact, yesterday I had a couple guys here from the Q Club. We sat around and talked for a little bit, uh, showed them around the shop, showed them about some new projects I was working on. You know, I'm just about as real as you can get. But with that being said, uh, I was having this conversation the other day, and a guy asked me, he said, uh, is that too loud? Looks like it's spiking. Am I hollering? I turned it down just a little bit. Um, a guy asked me, he said, uh, what got you into the injections, uh, rubs, and sauces, and all that stuff? And I told him the story, and he kind of looked at me and goes, man, that's a great story. Have you told anybody that? And I was like, well, I tell, I tell a couple people that because I don't want to, you know, start start crap with anybody or you know i don't want to you know start a riot or everybody you know going well that's bull or you know but he says no no you absolutely need to tell that story people need to hear that story people want to hear that story so i thought you know what uh we had a video we could have posted today and then i thought you know what let's just let's just set the record straight i want to invite you in to see who i am and uh, it's just who I am. It's what I do. It's what I feel. It's how I got started. So today I'm going to share with you a couple things. I'm going to share with you my story of how I got in to this business right here. Exactly how. Exactly how. Um, I'm not going to candy coat it. I'm not saying anything to you know hurt anybody's feelings or you know. Dang sure not start a, you know, freaking hate in the chat or whatever, but I'm going to tell you exactly how I got started. Is that okay? You guys mind if I do that? If you don't mind if I do that, smash that five button. Just give me a high five. Pow! Sorry. Dropping stuff. Smash that five button. If you don't, if you want to hear exactly how I got started in this business, and if you don't, if you don't give a shit, Hey, man, I don't blame you. You guys are more than welcome to cut out of here. And uh, I'll catch you in next week's video, and we can pick it up from there. All right. High five. <laughs> man, I can't believe I got it. It's just started. Now I got these things everywhere. I got one of them. I got, uh, I got them at my work, my home office, my truck, my wife's office. and, and I. You know, honestly, I was just thinking, man, maybe I ought to put some in the bathroom. But <laughs> does anybody have any of these sitting in their bathroom just for bathroom stuff? If you do, if you do, be honest with me. I'm going to be honest with you today. You be honest with me. Just just, just give me a yes. Yep. Dave Myers says, yep. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, man. Oh. All right. So let me just let me just tell you how I got started in this business. And uh, for those of you looking for inspiration, it's probably not going to inspire you. Um, I think most people that know me and know me well know that I'm extremely, extremely competitive, extremely competitive, like too much so. It's it's so much so that I'll sabotage myself just to get a little bit further ahead. So. Um, Exactly how I got started. I used to use another injection. I did. I ain't going to lie to you. Um, I used it probably three times. And uh, it, it just didn't taste right to me. 
And I went up to the feller that uh, owned the company. Uh, we was at a barbecue competition, and I said, uh, hey, man, can you do me a favor? I'm using this injection, and it, I think I'm doing something wrong. You know, is there any way you could help me out? And uh, this young man looked at me, and he said, he's standing in his trailer with the door open. And he said, yes, I can. He said, read the instructions and shut the door in my face. I could walk you to that spot at that competition where that happened right now today. Even saying that pisses me off just a little bit more. I can feel the heat in my chest. And I thought to myself, who treats their customers like this? Who? Why would you do that? Why would you do that to somebody that gave you money? And that burned a hole in me harder and longer than I could ever imagine. And from that, that day, at that competition, in that field, my mind shifted to, if you won't tell me how to use it, you won't show me how to use it, well, you won't answer a freaking question, then guess what? I'll make my own. And that's exactly what I did. I started off making the very first one was the original brisket injection. And uh, it, it, it's what I liked. I made it how I liked it. And I'm going to tell you right now, you have never seen hateful, pathetic mother. I'm not even going to, I'm going to calm down, man. People, the day I came out with my uh, original reserve, uh, I'm sorry, my original brisket injection, I was at a competition in, um, I want to say uh, it was Park City, Kansas. And I went there and that day I could name on one hand how many people talked to me. The, the whole weekend, because I was, how dare I have the, you know, the gumption to, you know, jump into this game. Who do I think I am? And I was like, God, it was horrible. I remember that drive home. I called my wife and I was like, the only person that really talked, well, there was two people there. The only two people there that talked to me was Scott Key and Donnie Teal. That's it. As a matter of fact, I heard through the grapevine later, uh, I went around and uh, gave out some samples of this rub it, or of this injection. It was, you know, w when we very first started, probably 2008 and uh, 2007, 2008, some, somewhere in there. And uh, I was, the feedback I was getting was people was just dumping it on the ground. And that, that, that pissed me off. That pissed me off again. So that lit a fire under me is what it did. And uh, I thought, you know what? If, if I know one thing about competition barbecuers, one thing, I'll tell you right now, and I'll say this to anybody. If I know one thing about a competition barbecuer, they're anything but loyal. And what I mean by that is they're very loyal. But... The day that comes when they start losing and they don't start walking anymore, they'll switch on a dime. I don't care what it is. And then they go into this, this crazy cycle of trying everything they can. And that's why I look at people's recipes and it's four pages long for just, you know, chicken. And I go, you know, because all they're doing is just, you know, just trying anything they can. Just cast another one, cast another one, cast another one. And uh, I thought, you know what? If I want th those kind of people using my product and on fire for me like that, I'm going to have to beat them. And that's what I did. That's when I came up to. Uh, that's when I came up with the uh, the hashtag. It just wins. That was back when hashtags first started. And um, Donnie Teal and has constantly. You know, anybody that knows Donnie Teal, man, that guy, that dude's golden. I love him to death. 
me and Donnie, we class sometimes. But I'm telling you right now, that man, that man spoke to me when no one else would. Him and Scott Key. And I got a call from Scott Key after all this started, uh, and it just everybody dumping on me and on the on the forums, just being hateful, and you know, you know that. I'm sure you guys have been on them forums. Um, I got a call from him, and he was like, "You know what? You, you keep doing what you're doing. You keep, don't you stop?" Because I was about to quit. And at the time, I think I had the original brisket injection, the pork injection, uh, cow cover, and dirty bird. And I was about to hang it up. I was like, "Man, I can't, like this is crazy. This is crazy." I didn't, you know, uh, my wife and kids were going to competitions with me, and um, a lot of people treated my wife and kids with the utmost respect in the world, but there was a couple of them deal holes that didn't over some injection. And then I thought, you know what? I'm going to be the best. I am going to have the best that the world has ever seen. And nothing is going to stop me. So I embarked on that journey and here we are. Uh, was it 2019? We've been incorporated for, I think 11 or 12 years now. Um, and I love it. I freaking love it because I, I, I tell you why I love, I love what it did for me. I don't mean any, anything bad to anybody else. This, this message is not so much even about you guys. This is about me just leveling with you because I just want you to know. You need to know who I am, where I come from. If you're going to use our stuff, you need to know how the story behind it. And uh, to this day, Callie, I don't even know how much. We, we probably do around uh, fifty to 60,000 pounds a month. We ship worldwide. Australia the UK, Mexico, Canada, New Zealand, and obviously America. Um, and it, it all goes back to, I don't care what business you're in. I don't care what you do. People stop buying from you for one of two reasons. Either you offend them or you quit selling to them. That's it. That's it. It's one of them two reasons. Either you offend them or you quit selling to them. And I'm not trying to bring the mood down, but I just want you guys to know that's where my fire comes from. That's where my passion comes from. That's why I do, you know, dumb stuff like this, <laughs> messing around on YouTube, which I have no business doing. Um, but my plan is. I want to be the household name in barbecue for Cosmos. And I don't mean that that stuff you buy at the grocery store, which is a funny story about that. Uh, I, I'm going to tell you this story real quick. I had a guy tell me one time, he said, uh, he, he goes, hey, man, I think you, I think we can get you into uh, Walmart and uh, Hy-Vee and Reesers, and we can get your stuff pushed worldwide or, you know, you know it, not worldwide, nationwide. And I said, uh, okay, well, how are you going to do that? He says, you know, I, I got connections with all these major, you know, uh, stores, and we can make it happen. He said, but you got to do a couple things first. I said, okay, what do I got to do? He goes, well, first of all, you got to cut your barbecue sauce with water. You can't sell that. You can't, your sauce can't be that good. It needs to be cut with water. He said, but, you know, the great thing is, is all you got to do is thicken it back up, which, we could do that and we could sell you water thickened up with xanthan gum or whatever you want to use. And I was like, no, no, I don't want to do that. I would rather you buy barbecue. I would rather you buy a $9 bottle of barbecue sauce for me than a $1.69 barbecue sauce for me full of water. And so I was like, no. And from that day forward, we said, no more. We will, we will not sell in a grocery store. That's it. So I don't know. 
Did I bring the mood down? You guys like this? Do you? I mean, is this what you want to hear? The good stuff? This is the good stuff, I guess. <laughs> but you know, I, I got, I got people, I got people all the time that go, man, we, we, you know, we want to do, you know, we want to cook barbecue like you. I'm like, well, that's easy. I'll get out there and do it. All you got to do is just get out there, start. I've tore up more meat. And let me tell you about the very first cook I ever did. I get, uh, there's a, a couple key things in my life that I can attribute to where I sit today. Um, when my wife and I moved to Mustang, Oklahoma, our girls were, all of our kids were little. Our girls were like four years old. No, no, they were three years old. They were three years old. And uh, I didn't know anybody there. So I didn't, there's, there was no bars. There. there was one bar there, but I didn't know anybody. So I didn't go. Um, and so I, I made it a little ritual, you know, Friday night or Friday after work. I'd go by, uh, go by and grab me a 12-pack of beer. And, you know, some ribs or, you know, a chicken or something, you know, and get ready to cook it Saturday morning. I love just getting out there and, you know, running that pit, you know. And uh, I'll never forget um, my very first cook. I bought a, I think it was a $50, uh, it was a $50 smoker from Walmart. It was the little square one. with uh, It was a, it was a horrible smoker. It didn't work at all. It's junk. Complete junk. Um, ended, ended up having to throw it away. But I remember I, I cooked that meat, so I thought, and uh, I ended up having to throw every bit of it in the trash can. Every bit of it. And I remember going out to the trash can, uh, carrying the tray, and my wife lifting it up and dumping all that food in the trash can. And I'm sitting there, and I didn't make that much money then. I think I made like, you know, eight fifty an hour, nine dollars an hour, something like that. And I just remember thinking, man, I feel like an absolute failure because I can't even provide a meal for my family, and that that lit a fire under me too. And I was like, I'm gonna learn how to do this. I'm gonna learn how to do it. I don't care how much it costs me. I don't care what I run into. I'm going to learn how to do it. So, hey, instant 12-year overnight success. <laughs> uh, guys, gals, I could probably sit here and tell that story on a different cook until 6 p.m. tonight. I have tore up a lot. I have messed up a lot. I've I've ate some nasty stuff that I've cooked. But the great thing is, is I kind of feel like I ran all, I ran through a lot of that so I can pass knowledge on. Um, one of the bad things about YouTube, there's a lot of great, there's a lot of great cooks on YouTube, a lot of great cookers on YouTube. There's a lot of great information on YouTube. But for every one piece of good information, I could probably show you 10,000 bad ones that people don't know what they're doing. <clears throat> but yet, <coughs> they teach. <laughs> so, all right, man. Hey, I ain't going to bring down the mood anymore. I just wanted to tell you guys them stories. <coughs> so I wrote a little manifesto. For Cosmos Q, with the help of uh, Wes and Frank. You, some of you guys, does anybody know Frank Frank and Wes? If you guys know Frank and Wes, type, type number one. Give me a number one if you know Frank and Wes. And you should know Logan. Logan's the one that really does all these videos. He's amazing. All them guys are, man. They kill it. So here is my current version of... The Cosmos Cube Manifesto, um, subject to change. This is just the first version. So you guys mind if I read that to you? Is that okay? 
There's Joe Scott. What's up, Joe? All right, here we go. <clears throat> we are the fire makers, the meat takers that rail against the vegan tree huggers and corporate meat mongers. To us, flavor matters. Okay, barbecue isn't an option, and bad barbecue is a four-letter word. So take up your pits, grab your meat, and join us around the fire. It's time to take back your rightful place as the provider. That's it. What do you guys think of that one? Would you change something? Is it good? Should we work on it? I like it. I kind of like it because that's, you know, that's who we are. That's who we are as uh, parents. That's who we are as uh, brothers and sisters. It is, it is our duty to provide. And what better way than serving some killer barbecue? A lot of people don't know. Uh, I seen a shirt the other day. It said uh, uh, it was the, you know, kind of like the the Make America Great hat, but it said make make brisket a dollar ninety seven again. And a lot of people don't even know why brisket went up. You, I mean, th there's probably a lot of you that remember when brisket was, you know, you could go buy it for ninety cents a pound, a dollar thirty seven a pound, somewhere, and you know, it did it, it bounced back and forth. A lot of people don't know this. The reason why barbecue or brisket went up so much is because a lot of the a lot of the corporate restaurants saw the trend in barbecue. They do their homework. They're not dumb. They do their homework. And they ended up buying a lot of the brisket stock, which, you know, supply and demand. It just is what it is. A lot of people don't know that that was Arby's. You guys remember the Arby's brisket sandwich? They, I think they still have brisket on there. Yep. All righty, man. Let's see what you guys are doing. I love the comments. <laughs> uh, yeah, we used to. I used to go to a competition, a KCBS competition, back in the day. I could do it for about four hundred dollars, entry fee and all. Now, brisket's two two fifty. I got five hundred in meat, easily, easily five hundred in meat. Uh, a lot of the comps now are one hundred eighty, two hundred fifty bucks entry fee. Then by the time you drive there and buy all your beer and parsley and all that, you're a thousand dollars in. That's crazy. Yeah, Moody, you're right. It wasn't a popular cut because people don't know how to cook it. It's still pretty cheap in Houston, chicken fried. Say, hey, chicken fried, how much you guys getting a pound down there? Well, some are switching to SCA. You're exactly right. You're exactly right. I see KCBS is trying to trying to get in the, the state competition. He said dollar forty nine for cab in Houston. That's pretty good, brother. It's three twenty nine in Dallas, Fort Worth. I want that sweater. <laughs> uh, saw a prime for five fifty eight. Dang, six ninety nine. Jeez. Well. Now you know. All righty, man. Let's go. You guys want to? You guys want to chat for a little bit? Is that okay with you guys if we chat? You got some questions? I got to go eat uh, eat lunch. We got uh, it's my father in law's birthday, so we're gonna go down to uh, I don't know something down there. Store hours, Harley ass. The store hours are 10 to 5.30, Monday through Friday, Saturday, 9 to 3 currently. Oh, what's the best Walmart smoker? Weber Kettle. 
Uh, he says, Cosmo, how many do you sponsor? Chicken fried? Let me, let me tell you about sponsorship. When people ask the sponsor before, I, I don't even see it until it gets all the way to the end. But the first thing when people email and uh, call and tag us on social media, the very first thing uh, the guys do is go look at their social media. Um, first of all, we want to, uh, you know, are they just wanting to sponsor for free products, which that's what most people want. Um, or are they actually on social media promoting us already? If you're on social media promoting Cosmos and you're not a dill hole and you're not, you know, bashing people for this or that or whatever, you know, if you're a good ambassador, that's what, that's what companies want. They want people that are, you know, that are not going to go out and act like deal holes because it, and here's the way, here's the way I see it. The definition, the definition of a good deal is, is both parties getting screwed equally, right? If we give you product for free, you know, what do we get in return? And a lot of people just take the product and I'll, we don't ever hear from them again. I actually had one guy, uh, this was years ago. Uh, he used it in his catering company. I, it, next thing you know, he's ordering, you know, 50 pounds of rub a week. Use, and I was like, what are you doing with that much rub? He said, well, I, could, I use it in my catering company. Come on, man. That doesn't make me no money. So that's kind of, the, you know, I would highly recommend if you ask anybody for a sponsorship, right? If you take $100 from them in product, you need to sell at least $1,000 for them. That's what makes it a great deal. And that's how, that's how guys like me will come and find you. You don't even got to ask. Uh, how's your mom doing, Rod asks. She's doing better, man. She's doing better. Thank you, sir. Uh, duh, 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 duh. I noticed several top teams sponsored by you. Yeah. Yeah, we got a bunch of them. Really enjoyed the collab with Malcolm, man. I tell you what, we had a lot of fun with that. Malcolm is an awesome dude. Awesome dude. Uh, just built me an ugly drum cooker. Cooking chicken like crazy. Stetson, let it rip, bro. You ever try to make buff buffalo chicken mac and cheese? No. Timothy, I, somebody told me about that the other day. Uh, yeah, I've never – that would be – Awesome, you know. Um, I will tell you this. I was in uh, Nashville this last week, and I went to Hattie B's and tried their Nashville hot chicken. I'll put mine against theirs any day, anywhere. Their chicken is amazing. But I think our Nashville is a better flavor. <laughs> I, I just really do, honestly. But their chicken is amazing, though. That crunch on that chicken is out of this friggin' world. And that pimento mac and cheese that they got over there, geez. That was that was that one just kind of pow, just blew my mind. I didn't know if I was gonna put it on a piece of bread and eat it or just, you know, shovel it up with a fork. Uh Cosmo and Malcolm are awesome. Thank you, Kevin. Uh the wing dust. Well, oh gosh, it was gone. Hattie B's is amazing. Yeah, they're efficient too, man. They are efficient. Tell us about your SPG seasoning. Best meat to use it on. Travis, man, you could put that on anything. A, uh, we had some wings down here, and we was using we uh, putting wing dust on them. And uh, a couple things I've used it on is uh, wings. Tossed it. I just put it on the wings after they were cooked. Oh, my gosh. Unbelievable. But here's another one I use it on. And this one, oh man, I'm eating stew tonight. I on stew, sprinkle some in your stew. Jeez. This right here is a stew cooking machine. I'm putting that, I'm taking that by my phone. I'm eating stew tonight. <laughs> uh SPG on Fruit Loops. Uh, any good idea for cook's choice for a comp? Uh, I don't know. 
What do you think about Myron Mixon? I'm going to get back to that one. Um, man, a lot of guys are doing the uh, the uh, bacon explosions. Uh, Myron Mixon? Myron's a good dude, man. I mean, he's he's just like the rest of us. He's as competitive as they come. And you can't fault a man for that, you know? He's just wanting to do good by his family, you know? Other than that, I've never had any problem with him. I've never had a problem with him. I've never had a problem with any of them. And I've known Tuffy and uh, Big Mo long before all that Pitmaster stuff got started. Long before all that stuff. Uh, Buffalo Wing Dust is great on pizza. Man, you guys are giving me all kinds of ideas. Miner's Pork Base. Yeah. That Miners is pretty good stuff. Uh, still can't get in my Q Club. BR40, you got to sign up with your email, and you got to make sh the email address that you use to pay for that Q Club, that's what you got to sign up with. A lot of people are getting confused there. They pay with one email address, and then they try to sign up under another. That's how the system connects it. Uh, send an email, BR40, send an email to info at cosmosq.com. They'll get you handled. Uh, da, da, da. Cosmo, enjoy the story. Thank you, man. Pow. <laughs> Brett goes, where can you get SPG? Man, it's funny you ask that, Brett. Uh, how many how many people here know about the uh, Cosmos Q Club? If you know about the Cosmos Q Club, smash eight. Give me that number eight right there. Favorite barbecue spot. Uh, believe it or not, it's in uh, Orange City, California right now. All right. Well, a lot of people know about the Q Club. If you don't know about the Q Club, give me a seven. Smash seven. If you want me to talk, tell you what the Q Club is, I, I, I wasn't trying to get on here and, you know, go into sales mode, but, you know, uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got to always be selling, huh? Always be selling. All righty. Well, there's a couple of you that don't know about the Q Club, so I haven't done a good job. So let's just talk about it. Uh, the Cosmos Q Club is a private membership area where we have monthly cooks, some are live, and some are recorded, but e either way, after the cook, we go live and answer your questions 100%. Anything you want to know. Anything. And that's what we talk about. But the great thing is it's, uh, it's $47 a month, but here's what you get. You get that live class. Every one of them's for free. From there, you pay your monthly membership fee. You get every class in there live. And when I say every single class, you get everything. There's more videos in there that, than you could probably watch in a two months time. To be honest with you, um, let me go over a couple videos that are in there. Both of my competition DVDs are in there in full length. Two competition classes. Bam! Right there. Um, the other thing that's in there, if you want to watch a class live, if you just want to pay and come and watch one class, you can absolutely do that. And, you know, we, we do them pretty cheap. It's only 97 bucks if you want to come watch that one class. But if you want to get in the monthly membership, you know, that's, that's where the deal is. That's where you're going to save your uh, most money. And there's deals. If you want to, you can pay $47 a month. I think it's 117 a quarter or 297 a year. 297 a year for a, a new class every single month. That's believe you me, I've loaded up my bags and traveled halfway across the United States to go to a barbecue class. And I promise you right now, you're going to spend a far ton more than $297. Hell, your plane ticket ain't going to get you that, you know? So that's what you get. 
There's over $1,500 worth of videos in there that we've sold. So you get all them. Um, the other thing you get is 10% off of everything in Cosmos Q store all the time. Unbelievable. I think we figured it up. It's about a, so for that, uh, if you pay it by the year, $297, um, it, 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 it's, uh, if you pay $297 for that year, you're, in that year's time, you're going to get almost $2,400 worth of value. You're going to get all the DVDs, all of the videos, all of the live Q&As, 10% off of the Cosmos Cube products. Um, you get the, like I said, the live Q&A. Uh, the other thing is you get, you are the very first ones, um, if you're in the club as a member, you get all the products before anybody else does. We do a, a special code for you or a special code for you guys on the site to give you the 10% off. But we also let you uh, go ahead and buy the product um, early. The other thing you get, and this is for me, this is where I think the gold is. This is the best one. We have a private pitmaster page um, full of experienced pitmasters, all the way from world champions, all the way to guys that just guys and gals. There's a lot of gals in there. And by the way, there's a lot of gal that a lot of you gals in there killing it, by the way. Um, we have world champions all the way down to, hey, I just bought my pit. How do I light a fire? This is where you're going to want to go because these people will give you true information and help get your barbecue game up to a level that I promise you, no one on your box is going to take you down. So that's what the Cosmos Q Club is. Um, I didn't want to go into a spiel. That's not what this video is for. If you guys want the link for it, I'll post it up in here. It's a, uh, uh, well, there it is, cosmosqclub.com. For those of you that don't know, so to answer your questions, uh, to answer your question about how do you get the SPG, the SPG is not out right now. Um, it actually releases, I believe, next next Saturday, um, or the I think it's the ninth, whatever whatever day that is. Um, it, 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 that's when it'll be released to everybody else. Um, but most of the people in the Q Club already got theirs, already ordered it, um, and we have a ton of great products coming. Blowing smoke is my comp. Well, thanks, Stetson. Yeah. You should come up to Mason City, Iowa this year. Man, I'd love to come up there. Actually, I just got a new trailer. Actually, I say it's a new trailer. It's a new used trailer. Brad said, best money he's ever spent. I had two guys in here yesterday, like I was telling you about earlier. They said, uh, we've only had this club going for, I think, three months. In three months, guy said, I, I did not think it was possible for me to cook barbecue like that. I said, it's absolutely possible. Because we don't, we're not trying to weed you through all the, you know, try this, try that. We tell you. We tell you, we show you, we, you get the printed recipe, you print it off on your computer, take it out to your pit, do whatever you want to with it. You have all the instructions right there. It's absolutely worth the money. Heck, if I, I wish I could have done this back in the day. How big is a new comp trailer? Uh, I think it's 26 foot. Um, 26 foot. We're going to put a jambo on the back of it. There you go, Dave. <laughs> Man, I need to get home. I, I got it the other day and just pulled it into the shop and haven't touched it since. <laughs> uh, we want to see the trailer. It's at home. I'm sorry. I'll show you. Uh, it. I tell you. I tell you. If you want to see the trailer, go back after this. Uh, go back and watch my. Um, what my last video? I think it was the video before that um, on my Nashville chicken with uh, Malcolm Reed when we drove out to Memphis to pick up the trailer. And that's when we met up with Malcolm, uh, did the podcast, shot a video with him. If you guys don't know who Malcolm Reed is, I'm sure all of you guys do. Malcolm is a friggin' stud. Go watch them two videos. 
Go watch the uh, video I did with him on the Nashville hot chicken and then go watch the podcast. There's a lot of great information in there. Cheers from Sweden. My man. Boom. I wish I had a beer. I'd, we'd do that little cup thing. Me and you. Uh, love the hat and the hoodie. When can we buy them? Um, actually, this hat was a prototype. Need to order some. Let me see if I. Hey, Siri, remind me Monday to order hats. She don't listen. Hey, Siri, remind me Monday to order hats. Okay. Boom. I added order hats to your reminders for Monday at 9 a.m. Hello from the Netherlands. That's what I'm talking about, man. Barbecue is getting huge, you know, from the Netherlands. That's awesome. Water pans versus hot no water pans. I do hot no water pans. What's the difference between SPG and Texas beef? There's a big difference, actually. The uh, SPG is a, a lot bigger granule. I don't think you can see it in there. You can't. Um, but yeah, it it it's the uh, Texas beef was uh, more about a competition. SPG. Uh, this is just SPG. Uh, da -da. Yeah, there's that link. Look at my boys getting my back. That's what I'm talking about, Frank or Logan. One of them. One of them's out there doing it. We use your rubs on our KCBS competition. Is another super? Oh, yeah. Thanks, brother. Well, man, I, I hope to meet you one day. If you ever come over here, you come into the store, and you say, hey, I met you on YouTube. I'm sure. Uh, SCA, I've been at your shop. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I've asked that. They didn't like that. They didn't like that at all. Cosmo, what other rub would you combo with the SPG? Uh, depends what I was cooking it on. If I was going to do a steak, I would probably do cow cover hot SPG. If I was going to do a brisket, I'd probably cow cover hot SPG. <laughs> I like the hot stuff. Da -da -da. Is that it? You guys all out of questions? Kill three videos in one trip. Bam! That's what I'm talking about. Let me scroll up. I'm going to scroll up here and see if we got some more questions. What rub for chicken? Doing a test trial today. Um, if you're doing competition chicken, Dirty Bird Hot lights out. Cosmo, you going to be at the Jack Daniels this year? I plan on it, my friend. Where do you buy your meats? Uh, Kenneth, here in Oklahoma, I buy my meats at the chef store over on 240. What tips do you have for smoked boneless, skinless breasts? Hot and fast, man. Hot and fast. Paul. My man, Paul, look at you. What are you doing that for, Paul? What you get? Paul, you got a question? What do you, what do you need to know, Paul? Thank you, man. I appreciate that, Paul. You're a stud. Helping support the cause. Get me another one of the... You can't see them up there. Get me another bottle of whiskey. And I want to thank you to... Uh, the young man that came in, I ain't going to say his name because I don't want anybody to know, you know, but uh, to the young man that showed up here at the shop yesterday and uh, brought us a brand new bottle of Baker's Mark, that's, it. that's what I'm talking about. Du -du -du. I own a 18-inch WSM. What's the next smoker I should buy under $1,000? Ha, 
Dude, I don't know. Depends. I would probably buy two drums. <laughs> me. <laughs> That's just me, though. Uh, da, da, da. When's the hoodie going to be for sale? These are actually not for sale yet. My boy Hondo made these. Man, Hondo does some work, too. Um, I wonder if we could put – If let me ask you guys a question. If we pre-sold these on the website, would you guys go for that? If you would, man, I'll do it because we got some some killer designs out there. But these things are just so expensive, man, and it's hard to buy, you know – five thousand dollars worth of stock and then you know not know who's gonna buy what but you know we could dang sure pre-sell them maybe do it for a certain window you know hey you have from uh you know monday to friday to pre-order you know and then we can have them made it'd probably take about you know a month to you know have them made and get them shipped out to you Um, do a pre-sale. Heck yeah. <laughs> Stone crusher. <laughs> Make them. <laughs> Woodford Reserve being sent. Oh, thanks, Dave. I love Woodford. That's good stuff. I wish I had that other one up there. We killed it pretty quick. We killed it pretty quick. Hey, is any? What time is it? You know what we forgot to do? We forgot to do our uh, 10 a.m. shot. I think this is kind of like being at a barbecue competition, isn't it? Original members first. Br, yeah. See, Br knows, man. That's another benefit about being in the members area. It, like you're going to be the first ones, and he's absolutely right. You know, well, if you're in the members area, you're going to be the first ones to get these and then we'll turn them loose to everybody else. And it's not, you know, I, man, I, honestly, I just want to take care of the people that are, you know, that are the hardcores that got skin in the game. Let me see. Paul's question. Does it show it? Hey, Paul. If I don't, I, I think I know what your question is, but if I don't answer it correctly, you send an uh, email to info at cosmosq.com and I will personally respond uh, to your question. I just want to make sure, I'm going to scroll up here and see if I can find it. It doesn't show. Why does it not show? Uh, ask about how to use an ugly drum smoker. Man, I'm going to tell you right now, that's it. the ugly drum smokers are, you can up your game like that instantly. Um, I run hot and fast, Paul. I also have uh, a complete set of DVDs in the membership area that take you through from lighting the drum all the way to cooking uh, world championship brisket, chicken, ribs, pork, everything. Um, I hope that answers your question, Paul. If that doesn't, like I said, you send an email to info at cosmosq.com and I'll personally answer your question, bro. Okay, where we at? Already did mine. Yeah, we gotta do it's 922. Okay. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna give you guys give you guys and gals a minute to go get your go get your go get your shooting material, and you got to do me a favor. You guys follow me on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I hope I'm gonna put my hold on. Let me get my Instagram handle in here. Oh heck, I'm not on my computer. Uh, go to Instagram. It's Cosmos Q. I just posted it right there. Go to Instagram, and you're going to have to prove to me you did your shot. You can see me do mine, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this for you too. Go to Instagram. Take a picture of you taking your 10 a.m. shot at 11.59 a.m. And uh, post up and hashtag us 
at Cosmos Q and hashtag us at It Just Wins. Let me get my camera on. I'm gonna take a picture with you guys. Here we go. See if I can do all this. <laughs> Sorry, bro. hey Charlie. Hey man, you don't got drink, bro. Get you some. Get you some. Uh, some tea or something like that, man. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And I'm not. Hey, and for those of you, I'm not trying to coerce you into drinking either. It's just something we do, you know. So here we go. All right. Let me post this up on Instagram. Boy, that's good stuff. Got to go to Instagram, post this up. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to use the hashtags too. All right. So we'll go. I'll say, who's with me for 10 a.m. shots at 11.59 a.m.? Hashtag Cosmos Q. Hashtag it just wins. Uh, who's with me for 10 a.m. shots? I don't know why this keeps correcting. Shots at 11.59. All right, boom. There it is. I just posted up mine. There it is. Can you guys see it? <clears throat> so if you don't follow me on Instagram, head on over there right now. Take your picture. Post it up, hashtag Cosmos Q, hashtag it just wins. Hey, brother, how's your mom doing, John? John, she's doing good. She's doing a lot better, a lot better. Thank you for asking. I do, I'm going to say this, and I'm not going to cry. Um, we we did lose Linda. Daisy, you guys know my bull mastiff. We did lose her the other day. <clears throat> Next question. Uh, uh, I could do shots of that <laughs> brisket mop. Yeah. Woo. Mm, if I join the club at the monthly price, can you change later to uh, the yearly price? I'm sure you can. Man, we can do anything but change your name. Um, yeah, join at the monthly price, and then when you when you're ready to jump up to the yearly price. Um, send an email to info at cosmosq.com um, and make sure to put in the uh, the header or whatever that thing's called uh, Cosmos Q membership. Uh, don't do Instagram. Wilkie, put it on Facebook, bro. Uh, da -da -da -da. Just signed up, can't log in. Should be shooting you an email. It usually takes a little bit uh, to get run through the system. It may take up to an hour. I'll just tell you right now. Um, just because how the processing systems work. There's a lot of there's a lot of moving parts going on in the back end. When you sign up, um, then it has to send the information to the payment processor. The payment processor has got to you know show you as a member. Once it does that, it'll send it back to the membership side and it says, hey, Cosmo's a member now. And then it'll fire off an email and send that email to you. Uh, make sure you log in with the email that you use to purchase the membership. And then just set your password, bookmark it. All the classes are on the left-hand side and you're golden. Uh, brisket cow cover with SPG. Can't do that hot. <laughs> Uh, how do you, Travis said, how do you mix your new sauce, man? If, uh, in one of the videos, the membership area, I show you how to mix that sauce, uh, for a competition blend. Uh, 
and it's a great it's a great mixture for the uh, backyard blend. It's a great mixture for the backyard blend. Um, but uh, it's kind of up to you. Uh, the sauce you need to try the sauce out of the bottle and see if you even want to at first. Uh, da, da, da. Do you ship B and B charcoal, Todd? I could, but it would kill you in shipping. Um, I would highly recommend you find an academy in your area or an Ace Hardware. They probably have it. Um, how do I get to the Pitmaster page for the Q Club? Aaron, that link is www.cosmosqclub.com. Just K-O-S-M-O-S-Q-C-L-U-B.com. Uh, we can post a link up in here, too. There's one posted up if you if you look further up. So, uh, da, da. what's up, man? Best hoodie ever. Yeah, man. Them last hoodies I got, they made them for like like little people or something, man. Like I put that thing on and it was just it was too tight. I gotta get that man size hoodie. I see all the videos. Yep, there you go, Aaron. <laughs> Just post it. All right. All right. Let's go check. We're going to go check Instagram. Make sure. I ain't calling you a liar. Look <laughs> at all the others. <laughs> That's crazy. Let me go. I got to do the search, right? Oh, dang it. So I want to search the hashtag. Cosmos Q search. They can only see me on there. I see all the all the popular people. Oh, there's recent. Hey, there you go. There's me. There's me. I ain't seen it yet, bro. Dover, Delaware. Finally has B and B. Need them in men's sizes. Yeah. This is a barbecue small. Following you on Instagram. Yeah, head on over there and follow us. We do a lot of cool stuff in there. Just came in. What do you sign up for the membership? I don't see it. Let me see. Club.com. Sure, I spelt that right. Yeah, I'll post a link up too. I can do that. I can do that for you guys and gals. Here we go. There's a there's an absolute link. Uh, can you ship to Canada? Heck yeah, we can, Ray. We got some uh, Canadian dealers up there too, so you might check them out. Watching you from Waterloo, Ontario, Canada. Heck yeah. It's not the hoodie. <laughs> Uh, any comps coming up? No, none as of yet. I was going to do Shawnee, but man, I'm, we're just too busy. But I am going to come up to Shawnee uh, probably Saturday. So if you guys are out there running around, I'll be out there running around. Um, so yeah, make sure you come up and say hi. Oh, you just did. Oh, search. It just wins. Okay. All right, here we go. Recent. Boom. There, right there. Got you, bro. I got you. Congratulations, man. There's two of us. Shawnee, Oklahoma. Yep, Harley. All righty. 
I gotta go to lunch now. I'm sure they're waiting on me. It's uh, my father-in-law's birthday. So he's coming to the city. We decided to go to lunch. Well, man, I want to say thank you to everybody. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for showing up. Um, thank you for listening to me and let me be open and honest with you guys. I love all you guys and gals. I keep saying guys. When I say, oh, it's an Oklahoma thing. It's all you guys, you know, and gals. So um, I'll see you guys later. And make sure if you're not subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't miss a thing. And I'll catch you on the other side. Peace.